This is for my pupil friend and neighbor, Dory Weaver, and her husband, Ethan Podell. Since I'm now 94 and no longer drive, Dory and Ethan have made it possible for me to spend the greater part of the pandemic year in my home on the rocky coast of Maine. Apart from taking me shopping or shopping for me, they drive me to appointments and supply me with sumptuous culinary creations too numerous to mention. Dory started ballet lessons at five and kept dancing throughout her adulthood, even after she decided not to become a professional ballet dancer. Enrolled in a course that embraced the highest standards of classical ballet, she was trained to choreograph body movements and gestures that express the innermost meaning of musical masterpieces. As my piano student, it was at first revelatory to her that pianists, as well as dancers, choreograph everything on the keyboard. In return for what she has done for me, I taught her choreographic piano-keyboard movements that enabled her, and the piano as well, to reproduce the essence of musical expression. She learned that every musical expression must have a physical counterpart, as it does in dancing. This required a knowledge of choreographic movements of her torso, fingers, wrists, arms, and even her feet on the pedals. A veritable keyboard dance. This Chopin waltz is the piece where her work on keyboard gestures came to fruition. While I am performing on this video, Dory's performance is not so far away. She has reached the point of being able to reproduce sublime auditory phrasing on the piano, very much like the music that inspires her when she dances.